All right, so it is happening, guys. Project Fear reactions are finally coming to the channel. Uh, if you would like this type of content, watch some more content like this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I was on the fence for a while of doing more reactions to other paranormal channels, only because I've done so many reactions through so many other channels that it's kind of getting hard to keep up with them all. But get through as many Project Fear reactions as I possibly can. All you have to do is hit that like button. It lets me know that you want to see more content like this. So let's go ahead and dive into the video, and I'll give you guys my thoughts during and after the video. I am taking us back to the location that broke us. Interesting. This location literally scarred me. It's the only location we've ever been to where it actually scared us out. We are back. We're back. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What the? Yo, what is going on? Project Fear. Oh, baby. Dude, less than 12 hours, we have to be up. This is the worst day of my actual life! Ah. 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 Dan is getting drunk. Dan, uh, we're gonna need you in 12 hours. I can't handle this! It's too much pressure! We're all by ourselves! What is up, everybody? Welcome to Project Fear. So right now we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at our house and we are packing up to head out for our very first road trip. Yeah, dude, let's go! I'm so excited. Why are all paranormal investigators for some reason living in Las Vegas? Why? Sam and Colby, Zach Baggins, these guys. Why is it Las Vegas all the time? I'm so excited. Oh, you get a bullseye, we're gonna have a great trip. I don't understand. Oh, that was so close! Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, Al? <laughs> oh, you know, just trimming up the facial hair. Honestly, he's got such good hair. It makes me jealous. If any of that hair crumbles to the ground, I'm taking it. We're going back to Sweet Spring Sanatorium starting tomorrow. Are you ready to go back to Sweet Spring? I mean, it's been four, over four years since we've been back. The first road trip of this brand new YouTube channel, we are calling it Return to Terror. Nice. We are going back to nice some name. of the most terrifying locations that we've ever been to. He kind of looks like Henry Cavill. For this first stop. Henry Cavill, sorry. I am taking us back to the location that broke us. We are going back to Sweet Springs Sanatorium. It was by far our most terrifying night. What is going on? It's the only location we've ever been to where it actually scared us out. Dude, this is okay. Insane. It's gonna be very, very interesting to see how we handle being back and if we can make it through the night or not. Uh, where are you, Sweet Springs? Right here. We'll right be there. there tomorrow night. We'll be right there. This is a place that we honestly have all said that we're probably not gonna go back to, and now we're doing it. Tomorrow we hit the road. It's gonna be sick, dude. You will get through this. You are gonna get through it. You're not gonna be okay. Prepare for the worst. Expect the unexpected! I feel awkward. <laughs> what is this so far? That's so perfect. So perfect. So perfect. Couldn't get more perfect dirt. We're ready to hunt some ghosts. We're ready to travel across the planet. Oh, planet? God. Yeah. Look I at their house. We're going to meet up with Chelsea tomorrow. Hey. Oh, my, dude. No! <laughs> Chelsea, your seat. Oh, great, it made it. The network never let us do this before. Chelsea, try it. Oh, my God. Oh, are you excited for a whole entire two weeks with your best friend? I thought driving would be fun, but that looks way more fun. Can we turn the air on? It's fucking hot in here. <laughs> what the heck? Project Fear starts now. Let's go! The enthusiasm is high. We are very scared. I'll keep my eyes on the road. I'm sorry. I, I just, I just, I just, oh, the car basically drives itself. Oh, really? Okay, cool. What a beautiful day. West Virginia. 
Mountain Mama. Oh, okay. In the pants. Chelsea's already regretting coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, so far, what's what's the big difference from YouTube to TV, right? Uh, already. What are you uh, feeling? Uh, one's on the internet. One's on the internet. Huh. Yeah. Oh, nailed it. Let's go to Walmart. Let's go get some stuff. Ooh, Walmart. Max. Walmart. Walmart. Can we eat hot Cheetos? We can do whatever we want, Alex. It's YouTube. <laughs> yes, yes. What are we thinking here, guys? God, unfortunately, that is so not true. I wish we could do whatever we wanted over here, but nope. <laughs> nope, we can't. Man, uh, probably have a lot more restrictions, though, on TV than I would say YouTube, by far. Yeah, I would say TV is even worse. Guys, tomatoes? Tomatoes. Cable, tomatoes. whatever. Soup. And I this. Badabas. 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 Berries. Berries and peas. Berries and peas. We're getting two pizzas. Two pizzas. I hope there's an oven there. A little bit of pasta up there. Yeah, just a little bit of pasta up here. Knowing that we're going to Sweet Springs. You picked that. I. My split personality did. Yeah, his other personality had no idea. No, and he's blindsided right now. You vowed to never return. That's a vow! This was the place that made us all true believers in the paranormal. This location literally scarred me. We talk about Sweet Spring Sanatorium on a weekly basis. Okay, this you're building up the hype. Has not left our thought, has not left our mind. I don't know what we said, what we did, but we definitely stirred something up last time. It was showing itself while we were together, but it was in full force when we all separated. Something happened that night. We hit a wall where paranormal activity was happening from like every direction. You guys believe in the witching hour? Because it was probably around 3 a.m. when yeah. all of it started to ramp up. An we ominous drive. throughout the night, but the second that we all separated and slept alone, it turned on a hundred percent. Tanner and Chelsea were sleeping in the basement. Chelsea was in the hospital wing. Tanner was in the slave quarters. Tanner, you heard singing. I was hearing Tanner. <laughs> okay. Tanner thought he was hearing me. Like, if you play back the footage, Yikes. the thing sounded like me. Yeah. Like, it actually had, like, my same voice. Hello? And then it got to a point where I'm just like, I don't feel safe. So that's when I called everybody, like, hey, we're not safe right now. We need to make sure that no one is in this building. We regroup downstairs as a group now because Tanner's so convinced that there's someone down there. So as a group, we all sit in Tanner's spot. And at the same time, we heard the loudest scream. It literally sounded like if somebody saw us, walked right into the room with us, and just screamed their head off. It just happened by close to my yeah. room. So I look back and I'm like, why is Tanner over here? So I look back and I'm like, why is Tanner over here? It was so loud, we ran out of the building. All I can say is this is the only location that made me spontaneously wow. break out in prayer. I mean, okay, so yeah, it's pretty scary. <laughs> okay, so yeah, someone walks in the room, just lets out a giant scream, and everybody's like, all right, well, we're out, fuck this. Um, they didn't have the original video on YouTube. I'm guessing this was something that was on probably their TV show. That's kind of a bummer. I would have watched it if I could have, but oh well. Oh well. They kind of summed it up quite well, I think, though. Lord, please protect me. Lord, please protect me. Yes. That's... The scariest moment. One of the scariest moments ever. Crazy. Now that it's been a few years, do you think it's demonic, or do you think we we're overreacting to that? That's the question that I think this whole video should I don't think it's answer. demonic. What is in the basement? What yeah. was affecting Tanner and Chelsea down there? I genuinely don't really want to find out what it is it's able to do stuff enough to scare us all out of the building and it's smart and it obviously if it knew us then it's gonna know us now whatever it is why are we going back yeah. like why did you escape from the murderer just to go back into his house oh, i'm so I'm nervous, nervous. I'm nervous i do it all the time so texas chainsaw master of the game 
sun is going down, we're getting close, so right now we're gonna pull over, we're gonna change clothes, and rock in the merch. To the location. Hell yeah. How are you guys feeling? You guys ready? <laughs> I'm freaking out. I don't know if we're gonna regret it or not, but we'll have to find out. We are not leaving the building tonight. We are staying in there. Speak for your damn self. <laughs> so Cindy Harper is her name. She's like runs and manages the place. She's gonna be there when we get there. She tweeted us like a bunch of stuff that she's experienced that was similar to what we experienced. We're straight up bad chick crazy for going back. We're so dumb for going back. Hey, your passion is. Oh, dude. Oh my god. You know? This is deja vu. I don't like it. I do not like the look of that building. No, thank you. We're here. We're here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, that's Cindy standing at the top of the steps very ominously, just waiting for us. Oh my. <laughs> Hello. We don't want to be here. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are back. We're back. <laughs> Cindy! It's good to see you guys. Yeah. I'm so excited for your return. So when the episode aired, you tweeted us like a couple things that you've experienced that we also experienced last time. Basically, I, I get the screams and they are very blood curling loud screams. It's almost like disembodied voices or something, you know, it's, it feels and sounds like it's right there with you. And sometimes I will not hear them in person, but when I play back the video or audio, it will be there. So I have a question. So when doing the research, you talked about how you were like thrown down the stairs at yes. one point. I don't normally get pushed down the stairs. That's only happened one time, but it was bad enough. Like I told you, I had bruises. You were like thrown down. It wasn't like a couple stairs. It was stairs. like the push. Oh. I, I mean, I actually, oh, yeah. I, I was expecting to be a human attacking me and I, I found no one. So I drop all my equipment. I don't know what it looked like going down the stairs. <laughs> Just, oh my, my God! <laughs> okay. That was on the door, dude. That was the loudest knock. This is in the middle of the day still. That sounded like right next to my head. I don't know what it looked like going down the stairs. <laughs> Just, oh my <laughs> Going down the stairs. <laughs> Just, oh my I want to tell you guys this, there is no no, I gotta pause it. Oh my god, his reaction was gent, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy if it's that active. I mean, seriously. Seriously. Oh my god. Dude, it, it banged on the door and he just like, just uh, jumped. He did that little skip thing. Like, oh yeah, dude, that was pretty good. The fact that she was thrown down the stairs. Yeah, it doesn't mean she was thrown down the stairs, you know. Push, and then, you know, the aftermath of going down, like, I think those that looked like cement stairs. So, yeah, it's going to bruise you up quite a bit. No one in here. No, what? I don't see anything. What? No one's in there. Okay, did you tell them we're coming? Yes. No! <laughs> what? Oh, I said, be nice. Okay, I said, be nice. That sounded really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Welcoming us back. Awesome. Okay, I have to ask, you told the spirits that were coming back, what was the reaction? What was the interaction that you had? Like, okay, so I said, do you know who's coming? And the ghost box, I had the ghost box on. It said, Chelsea. What? Oh, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're not out of it. No, no, because I said, do you know who else is coming? And guess who's Dame came up? Dame! Get the out of here! Stop it! I mean, that's so creepy though because- It is creepy. Yeah. Yes, Indy. It knows your names. <gasps> Fantastic. <laughs> Great. Good luck, everybody. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, <laughs> let's get in there. Let's load our gear inside and let's read the package. Oh my gosh. Ooh, got ominous real quick. Shit's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, I've written up a packet of a bunch of information about the haunting and the history of this place for us to read. Do you want to start us off, Jules? Oh my gosh. Sweet Spring Sanitarium. The large brick building you see today was erected in the 1830s by the Lewis family. 
who turned the unique property into a resort for the influential and powerful members of society. The resort was built entirely by slave labor. Brick by brick, her walls were formed by exhausted and mistreated men and women. No wonder why there's why a lot of screens. It's so heavy. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. By Despite 1942, the, the once illustrious resort had turned into a sanitarium for tuberculosis patients. It wasn't long before hundreds of patients filled the beds. Those that did not survive were buried anonymously in the public cemetery on the premises. Just another layer, another reason why this place is so haunted. <sighs> when the tuberculosis outbreak ended in 1944, the sanitarium changed its operation into a nursing home for the poor and elderly. In addition to the many deaths that occurred because of old age, the facility experienced numerous untimely deaths, some of which were caused by patients being scalded to death in the hydrotherapy tubs. You can only imagine how many patients would die. Although there's no official record, it is estimated that over- Dude, I just saw a flashlight. What? Horror. Like straight up. Scared the shit out of me. Down the hall. Not her, not her. What? Like straight Obviously. up flashlight. Scared the shit out of me. Behind the camera? Like all the way into this next room? All the way down the hall. Dude, what? This is the same room where Alex the thud happened on the door. It was right in this room? Right there. Yeah, well, there's literally nothing. It looked like that, but it was pointed, like, towards... Like this? Yes. It could yes. have been a car yeah, passing yeah, yeah. by. Just like that, but it was a lot, like, oranger. It was like an orange tungsten. Hello? Could have been a car, right? Maybe. Like headlights? I'm scared. It's already <laughs> starting, dude. I'm scared. Well, crap. What the hell is going on already? I don't know. Now I'm like fixated on the hallway. God, it's almost like we're in a haunted building. It feels like it's getting a lot colder in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's get to the packet and then get our night going because it's actually happening already. <clears throat> Although there is no official record, Back to it reading. is estimated that over a thousand people died on the property. Due to underfunding, Sweet Springs slowly fell into a state of disrepair in the 1990s and has sat vacant ever since. The most active areas include the third floor. A full-bodied apparition of a woman stands visually in the window of room 3007. So the third floor is also where you guys were standing. You and Alex and Tanner were on the third floor when, when me and Chelsea were in the basement. Yep. And we both heard the same female moan. Did he know that you have passed away? What? And it doesn't make sense how you guys heard it all the way up there while we were in the basement. I don't like this place. No. I don't like that we're back. Oh. <sighs> The second floor. The sounds of doors being slammed and objects moving have been heard by many people. It is common to see apparitions walking around the hallways. Oh no, the basement. Okay. Ooh, the basement. This is the where the slave quarters and the hospital wing are located. Oh, this so part yeah. of the building yeah. saw the most death and torment. Clear disembodied voices are a common occurrence in this part of the building. I mean, last time we were here, that's where everything like went down at the very end. I have a terrible feeling right now. I feel like we are not gonna have a good night. No. Mm -mm. Only okay, good things. Now Only it's good thoughts. For us to start our overnight, and I hate to say this. No. What? No. What? what? Absolutely no, not. No. 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 What? I have an idea. No. No. Why? 
Why? Let's, let's, let's hear what he has to say, guys. Go! For the first part of our overnight, three of us will be going to the third floor, and one of us will be going down to the basement by themselves okay. to face the fear alone. I'm already crying! Bro! Are you picking this person? Because it can't be me. You're cheering <laughs> up! I know! I'm scared! <laughs> you don't get it, dude! You haven't been down there before by yourself, and it sucks! I'm sad. <laughs> I don't want to do it. You're making your sister cry, dude, already. I don't think Tanner and I should have to go through it again. Yeah. I think it should be for someone who hasn't experienced it before. Chelsea, this isn't Project Pussies, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you picking? No, I'm not picking. It's up to fate. I'm going to put all of our names onto a piece of paper. Oh, clever. That's all clever. I'm putting them in here. OK, let's get this over with, because I want to know if I'm mad or I'm happy. OK. okay. Watch it be her. Her or him. Come on. I'm so sorry, Tanner! Ah! <laughs> I did not want to do it, guys. Come on. God! Bring it to Chelsea. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I feel really bad for Tanner. But I like I'm Tanner. Kind of pumped. I feel yeah. like so fucking bad for Tanner, dude. I feel so bad, dude. I feel so bad for Tanner. Dude, I feel like so bad for Tanner right now. Oh, no! They remember you, too! I know! I know! Uh, how long am I going to the basement for? Uh, like uh, look, I look, I know most of the time when paranormal investigations start and people are being funny and stuff. I Look, there's a... Okay. I feel like sometimes some paranormal investigators try too hard to be funny. So far... These guys are just having conversations amongst themselves and naturally being funny about it. And maybe it's also because this is also my introduction into their content that I just, this is kind of, the, I'm getting an idea of what they're like. And so far, their humor is kind of hitting for me. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I am. Half to two hours. Fantastic. I have the enhanced recorder. It is going to be on top of my camera, so you're not going to be seeing it. But this is like... Super ears. Does that make sense? It's probably good to use that though with all the noises everything we heard now if, if there's any more this time voices We'll hear it like loud Really loud. You're Super. a real big prick. <laughs> That's what you are. All right. See you guys Be careful. I'm gonna be I'm not I'm talking over you so you don't say anything that scares me. All right. See you later they know you. I didn't hear you. I can't <laughs> She said they know you. Now, I'm they freaking know you, Tanner. He's so done. Oh. I do feel bad. Dude, he's got to be so freaking scared. <laughs> what the fuck? So I am in the basement. Right That's a now. scary All basement. By myself. It's Poor Tanner. the scariest place we've ever been to. Last time we were here, we thought someone was in the building only to find out no one was in the building. Not happy about this. <sighs> Here we go. Not happy about this. That's the slave corridors. I don't want to go down there first. Nope, I'm not going to. I'm going to go down this way. Ow, 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 that's loud. Holy, that was me doing that, and I'm... Everything's so jumpy. freaking loud. Yep, jumpy. Now I'm in the hospital wing. Uh, Chelsea was in this place last time. This is so messed up. Sorry, man. Okay. Let's get to that third floor. You got this. No pain, no gain. <laughs> you guys are real funny. So, right now we're on the third floor. This is where room 3007 is, where the lady in white is seen. We're just gonna go explore the third floor and ultimately try to find room 3007. If you can hear our voice, can you make a sound in the direction you want us to go? There's supposedly a woman in white that roams around up here and stares out the windows. Are you up here right now? God, look at this place. Wow. Wait. 
3037. Are we going the right way? I don't know. 3035. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going the right way. So this is like the nurse's station? Yes, yes. I've heard a lot of stories about this nurse's station. Ooh, this is freaky. I've seen this place before. Oh, what? It goes Ooh. down there? I, I'm Another positive I've I seen this place this before. Too, is to test like what happened last time, where we have someone up here and someone down there. Because last time, we, me, you, you and Tanner were on the third floor, me and Chelsea were in the basement, and we both heard the same moan. So I'm curious, like, if Tanner will hear anything that we hear. Yeah, exactly. Unless Tanner's really quiet right now, like, can, I haven't heard him. I don't think it's possible to hear from the basement all the way up here. All I'm hearing is our voices kind of echoing back and forth down, down the hallway, but I don't hear, like, Tanner. No. Hello? Is anybody here with me? I have a device on my camera that will be able to hear you if you'd like to speak. Do you have a name? I just heard footsteps. I just heard footsteps. I'm oh. The footsteps. Yep. Footsteps coming down from where my camera was. It's freaking me out. Hearing movement. I That's have to huge. Go back towards the footsteps. Can you tell me your name? My name's Tanner. I've been here before. Do you remember me? I'm feeling the intensity. I don't know how I act in that moment. Ow. So, with the enhanced recorder. Stepping on that and making a big crunch sounds like a firecracker just popped in my ear. Ouch. Oh, now it makes sense why he says ow. Yep, okay. I was like, how did that hurt? We're getting close there. I'm pretty sure this is right where me and Tanner were sitting when we got the EVP. That sounded like this whole place was still functioning like hospital. Which means 3007. It's gotta be right there. Mm -hmm. 3007. Made it. This is the lady in white. People see her peering out that window. Woo. There's always there one lady in white. A woman in here? Probably a hospital gown or something like that. Can yeah. you knock twice if you hear our voice? If you can hear our voices, can you let us know that you can hear us and understand us? I think it's about that time to go to the slave quarters where we heard everything. The scream, the chanting, the taunting. I really don't want to go down there. Let's be honest. I'm not afraid to admit it. Oh, I like this guy's attitude. So scary. You shift. The energy of the room. I like that he's talking to the camera as if he's talking to a friend, which is what I like, you know, think that you guys refer to this channel as. It's like you're watching videos with a friend. I, I like how he does that kind of to um, kind of drive away the fear a little bit, you know, helps him with the, str the stress of the situation. And I've gotten more kind of accepting of making humor at these very serious places because it, it does help, you know, cope with the fear of actually being in these moments. So I, I, I just, and this guy does a good job of making me laugh, so I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Once you get on this side, what the hell actually? Look at that hallway. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the enhanced audio recorder. I'm going to the Ovulus, because that's what I used the first time. Okay. Sounds like a plan, man. This is by far the strangest thing I've ever done. Four years ago, I was in this same spot, hearing the scariest things I've ever heard in my entire life. I was right here. I got a bad feeling. Something's about to jump out. So, or something's about to some happen. Questions here in room three thousand and seven, and try to get some responses on the digital recorder. 
Your hood looks really nice on you, too. Is this the Rockstar hood? Yeah. Does it look cool? It looks really cool, actually. Seriously? Hell yeah. I am rolling on the digital recorder. If anyone in here can hear my voice right now, I have something that will be able to hear your voice. Can you tell us something? Can you give us a message? A lot of people have seen a woman in here wearing a white dress, but nobody knows who you are. Can you tell us your name or what year you were born? Why do people see you so often in this room looking out this window? Don't scream. Don't Who, scream. I'm not here on this third floor right now. I won't be able to handle it. We're hearing something in the hallway. We were here several years ago exploring this building. Do you remember us? My sister is sitting right here in this chair. Do you know what her name is? All right, I'm gonna cut and play this back and see if we got any sort of a response. I don't even know what we're gonna find. Turning on the obulus, start asking some questions. Is anybody down here with me? What? I just said one. Oh, the first thing. I thought he was the actually gonna book thing. it. That's what happened. We all ran. They tell me to run right, dude. What? I just turned this on. Why do you want me to run? Do you remember me? I was here four years ago. This is the creepiest thing of all time, man. I remember every tiny bit of this place. Did I just see something move? I don't know, man. I could have sworn something ran right past that. Just went. Paranormal. My anxiety level is at an all-time high right now. This is just the creepiest feeling I've had it ever. I'm rolling on the digital recorder. If anyone in here can hear my voice right now, I have something that will be able to hear your voice. Can you tell us something? Can you give us a message? A lot of people have seen a woman in here wearing a white dress, but nobody knows who you are. said I remember Tanner. Oh, I hear that. It said I remember Tanner. I heard yes, and then there's a pause. Yep, I, remember. I remember something. It's Tanner. It says Tanner, dude. Let me go back. Go back. Yeah. We were here several years ago exploring this building. Do you remember us? It does. It does. Oh. It did. Yes. There's like a one second pause and then it's a whispering, I remember Tanner. <gasps> okay, well, whatever that is, uh, Tanner's downstairs by himself, so feel free to go talk to him because why are you up here? <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Go, 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 go. I'm standing where I was four years ago and I turned on the ovulus and right away it said run. Oh my god, dude! Should we even tell him? No, 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 not yet, not yet. Okay, well. I'm not gonna tell you right now what we just captured, but it correlates. Stop, are you serious? <laughs> dude, you don't even understand the timing of you walking us right now. This is so crazy. I'm telling you, dude, I've never felt this weird in my entire life. Do you think it remembers you, Tanner? 100%. Yikes, boys. Whatever the spirit is that is 
throwing Cindy down the stairs, hurting people, and then that showed itself to us in the basement. I think we just got the voice. And then not even a minute later, Tanner walks us for the first time to update us on his experience and how scared he is. I feel so bad that he's down there by himself. Dude, he is probably so scared right now. He has no idea what we captured. Hello? No, thank you. Here, footsteps down the hallway, man. Someone down there. What is going on? Don't turn I your back to it. Do not feel alone. Video, video. What? It, what? It, it says video. What about the video? Short. YouTube shorts. Oh. Do you remember me? How many people are down here with me? Four years ago, we were here, and someone screamed. Why this camera died. were you screaming? No way. Were you trying to scare us out? So we're going to leave 3007 and go explore the rest of the third floor. We're just going to keep this camera recording right here for a couple more hours. But we're just going to see if this camera left alone in this room captures anything while we're gone. Is there anyone up here? We just heard your voice on digital recorder. We thought we heard someone in the hallway too. Can you show us that you're here? Move something in front of us? Should we tell Tanner about the EVP? I kind of want to see scare him, but I how he's like doing. We have to tell him so he's alert. Right? Let's walk to him and give him enough to know that there's a spirit in here that mm -hmm. did not forget him and remembers him. Hey, Tanner. Go for Tanner. Uh, can I tell you right now? No, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to give you a warning. We were doing digital recorder. Something in here remembers you. We were debating about even like telling you this, but like at the end of the day, like it's a warning. Like we want you to know to be on like your toes. What did I do? When we end up what would that do anyways? I will like, show you the digital. Like here's the thing. What would what would him like not knowing and then knowing and him being on high alert do in that situation anyways? You know what I'm saying? Like he's in the basement. He's very vulnerable. And now he just knows that something remembers him there, even knowing it was already established that they remember. Right. So it really wouldn't have helped him anyways to let him know. If you really want to help him, I'd suggest taking having someone else go down to the basement. That might be a better idea. For the EVP, it's freaky. Okay, man. Uh, what the? I heard something. Yo, are you okay? Can you do that again? What? No. Fuck. Promise if it's not us, dude, and we don't hear you right now on the third floor. It's not like the echo or anything. I don't know. There's what's something happened, there with you. But let's go hit this part of the third floor, and then we'll then we'll go to Tanner. <sighs> it's getting colder down here. It is colder. Wow, it's a lot colder. Hello. I do feel bad for him. That's fucked up. Let's just see the second floor, and then we'll go climb Tanner. Careful on the stairs. Yeah, hold on to the railing, Chelsea. I slept in this hallway here. This is the same hallway ahead of us too, where me and Chelsea heard a ton of loud noises last time. Hello? Where did it go? Where did we go? Why would you run towards that? I thought I heard one there. Running there towards it? Is there someone down go there? Go get it. Go get him. We hear you making loud noises. Can you move something in front of us? Can you move one of these chairs? That'd be something. Let's go towards it. Let's go. Come on out with your hands up. All right, we're coming towards you. Oh. 
I don't like it down here. I want to go back upstairs. Can you say something to me, please? I know you told me to run, but why? Why did he want us out of here so badly last time? Hello? Are you here with me now? I feel like you've been following me this whole time. You're here with me? Multiple. Multiple, multiple people are with me? Like they're surrounding him. There's someone down there? Maybe. That's just walking. Can you walk towards us? Can you make a loud noise if you can see us? Okay, well, there's not an animal down here. No bats, no people. But now it's quiet. Let's go show Tanner the CDP. Tanner? Yo! What is going on? Screw this. I don't like it down here. I want to go see the <laughs> slave quarters quick because this is my first time back in the base. Dude, it's wild. Damn. This is heavy, right? Okay, can I, while we're here in the slave quarters, can I show you what we got? Okay. Don't even tell him. Like, just let him listen to it. Yeah, can you tell us what you hear? We were here several years ago, exploring this building. Do you remember us? Fuck off! What do you hear? We didn't tell you what we heard yet. We remember Tanner. Yes! Dude! It says, yes, I remember Tanner. That is clear, <laughs> dude. Tanner is the creepiest part. You hear the it's R, so yeah. And then, so the creepiest thing the about R, it is the he R. heard it, all of us go, oh, I remember Tanner, oh my God. And then you walk us and you go, guys, I just got run on the ovulus. Everything's feeling weird. That's exactly like four years ago when we both heard the same scream. Like it's the things where it's like correlates the whole entire building. Yeah. Let's go take a break. But I do want to leave a camera down here in the slave quarters because last time when we were here, we, we accidentally left a camera and it captured so much activity. I don't know how you did that by yourself, honestly. I barely did it, man. I feel like a <laughs> child right now. I feel like a little kid who is just too nervous to do shit and very scared. The way you're holding your back. I know. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like hugging myself right now going, it's okay, buddy, you're fine. I do think whatever pushed Cindy down the stairs, I think it's the same thing that's messing with you, that remembers you, remembers you. There's a bunch of things in this building, but there's definitely one thing that doesn't like people inside here and that's concerning i agree oh room, th room three okay nope Right now, oh, don't do that. What's wrong with you? Outside. We are going to head down to the basement for the remainder of our time before we have to sleep alone. And just try to get some sort of more direct answers. This feels so weird being back down here. This hospital was aesthetically the creepiest way I've ever seen. Who's in this hospital wing, this nursing home wing? If you're here, can you knock on something two times? Do you like that we're down here? Can you make some sort of noise to let us know that we're not alone? We know something's down here and it's not good, 
but I think it's time we go after like very direct responses. So we're gonna try a piece of equipment that we have never used before. We're gonna use the spirit box right now. A lot of people have been wondering why we haven't ever used the device. We were told by someone before the show started that we can't use the spirit box because that someone made it famous. Bruh. So for the first time ever, we're gonna try the spirit box here at Sweet Springs. Who's that person? Kevin Spacey. Was so it? So for newbies like me, explain I'm the an idiot. box to me. So basically it scans radio frequencies at a super like rapid rate. Spirits can manipulate frequencies and radio frequencies and channel their voices and come through. So unlike the ovulus, where it's a robotic voice, if we get a voice, it's supposedly the actual voice of the spirit. So if you guys hear a response after asking questions, just you know, shout out like what you think it said. I've never done this before, so this is gonna be really interesting to see what it does. Especially at a place like Sweet Springs. Okay, powering it on. Now in SB7 mode. Jeez, hell! Okay. I've never done it! <laughs> Could it see? I hope it has a lower volume. Here we go. Who's down here? Can you talk to us right now? You know who we are? Who is here that remembers Tanner, that remembers Tulsi? What's your name? Why did you scare us last time and this time? What do you not like about us? What? T. Why do you not like, like tea, tea as in Tanner? Why are you picking on Tanner? Like the paper? T. Jesus. Jesus. What? I heard Jesus. I don't know what that means. He's got a cross. My cross? I've worn this since season one. Tanner, you are the one that wears a cross, and I'm the one that was praying. And that's why it remembers us. Is that why you don't like Tanner? He's got a cross on? Are you not a holy person? Are you against God, against Christianity? Can you confirm why you don't like Tanner? Tell us why you don't like him. Christian. Christian. It did sound like Christian. Wow. <laughs> That is so That weird. was laughing, dude. Pure like a female, like, <laughs> yeah, like almost like a witch laugh. It was like mocking laugh, like snickering. Yeah. <gasps> what the oh. Oh. <gasps> what the Sounds like the Joker. Are you laughing at us? Are you mocking us? Who are you? What era of this location do you come from? Were you a, a patient at the sanatorium? Were you here when this was a retreat? Do you want to hurt us? Just to prove that you're intelligent and you can hear us, can you say the word Tanner or Chelsea? We're gonna move on to a different part of the building unless you can say something intelligent. I'm just laughing. What is it? I don't give yeah. up. I don't give a f All right, we're gonna go silent for a minute. We're gonna give you the floor to talk. Whatever you wanna say. Tanner's camera so we can watch this back but we are almost certain that we that was next level I don't know what to say to that whatever it is it's evil like they were screaming as if they were like in pain or something that was fucked up 
what sounded like Tanner screaming and Chelsea screaming on the freaking spirit box, and then it died. That couldn't get any creepier. We were about to give up, though. Like I literally said, the floor is yours, you have one minute. And then that happened. So we got the actual speaker from the spirit box hooked up to the camera, and we're gonna replay this so we can hear what we just heard. <laughs> First voice is definitely Tanner's, then there's like a glitch, and then your scream almost comes through. Well, I don't know if it's the same scream, but it's your scream and your voice. How are you and still what here? Did you tell us when we showed up today? That it said, Chelsea and Tanner knew you were coming. Us. It remembered you. I think something is trying to screw with us again, freak us out like last time, because I am so freaking scared now. The only location that's ever scared us out of here, and it's this close to doing it again. Do we stay? Or do we go home and just call it a night? Because the next part of the night is separating and sleeping alone. I'm so There's so dude, I'm sorry, but like, if I heard my voice coming through a spirit box and it was me screaming, I'm not sitting there no more. Fuck that, dude. That's not- That's not- There's a line that should never be crossed, and when you're- When you're taking my form and you're actually making it sound like I'm suffering, I'm getting the fuck out of there. No way. No way. I'm surprised they're actually still sitting there. I really am. I really am. Like, there's, they still have smiles on their faces. I would have been gone. I'm sorry. We have a camera in the slave quarters. Let's go grab that right now and get the hell out for a minute. Yeah, honestly. Last time when we had a camera down here, it captured a bunch. I'm sure this one did, too. If you guys want to see what this camera captured, we will be uploading all of the best highlights and clips to the Fear Club. So visit the link in the description. Go check out the Fear Club. All right, let's get out of here. They're done. So here's yep. like my concern, right? Tanner, you and I have both been identified. Why are we being identified? And is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Like, are we being picked on or are they going like, oh, it's them again? Uh, I think you guys are being targeted. It knows from last time that it can get to you guys and it's doing it again. I don't know if it's actually demonic, but it's evil. There is something evil haunting here. That's no doubt. There's no doubt. I think whatever it is got a really big thrill off of our fear. 100%. You don't get screaming on the radio, especially in the middle of nowhere, West Virginia, at two in the morning. Well, think about it this. If it would have just said our names, we would have just kept on asking questions. But the fact that it replicated our voices, we got scared and we left. It knows our breaking yeah. point and it keeps exposing it. What is it? Like, what is this entity that is totally prying on our fear? I mean, think about it. It's over 200 years of history in this one building and it could literally be anything. Should we do this? Because the next part of the night, we are separating and sleeping alone. That's what's next. Do you guys think that that's a good idea? Should we just leave and get out of here and consider it a loss? I don't even know what to say. Like, my body, everything in my body is telling Looks me, like, him. we don't need to figure this one out. <laughs> like, we're good. I just feel like we have to try, at least. If it gets out of hand, we can leave again, but let's just try it, okay? All right. Okay. Fine. So that's what's gonna happen. For the next four hours, we are going to separate and sleep alone. And the scary thing about everything is the last time when we were here, it was 3 a.m. when it started to pick up. Will history repeat itself? We'll see. That will be the next video on this channel. So definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're alerted when that video comes up. And send us your prayers, please. Yeah. <laughs> one last message. Uh, one time within this video, there is a rubber duck hidden somewhere. So comment below where you found that hidden rubber duck. We will see you soon with the brand new video of us sleeping alone. Attempting. A rubber duck. Awesome. All right, let's go to bed. Okay, so that was my introduction to the Project Fear. Oh my god, that was a really crazy investigation. Yeah, the end there, when it mimicked their voices, I would have been gone. Nope, fuck that. Not playing that game. What a what a great introduction into this channel. I gotta say, I'm very impressed. It was a lot fun, more funny than I expected it to be. It was when it needed to be serious, it got serious. I dug it. I dug the hell out of it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. I'll try to get as many Project Fear reactions out there as I possibly can. Uh, it just depends on you and how much you want to support these videos. And until next time, guys, please do keep it retro. Do take care.